<laughs> so Thomas, the first thing you have to do today is take a selfie with me to yeah. prove your attendance, okay? Mr. Alex, we gotta take a selfie with yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's assignment number one, y'all. Come on. Get, like it in. Get, it in. Get it in. Yeah. One, two, three, here we go. Thank yeah. you. Yes, All right. sir. Of course. <laughs> These are going to be worth a lot of money. <laughs> All right, good. I want to go and get a chance to be on the drums today, okay? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to, do, we're going to revisit the, that, um, the stepping exercise. My goal today to get by, by the end of the class, my goal is to have you guys at least playing something together. Okay. I'm in the IB program, so most of my stuff is just, you know, math, science, whatever. So which is why I signed up for music, a break from all that. And then when Ms. Vetcher told us about this program, I was interested because I've never experienced anything like this before or even heard about it. So she just, she only gave us like a brief outline. Some guy named Alex would be coming to help us with drumming, some artists, he would bring some artists, talk to us. But then like actually learning and experiencing it was more than I thought. In a good way, obviously. <laughs> Our partnership will be 10 weeks, maybe a little bit longer. Alex will be teaching two or three classes per week. I think the most important part of this is seeing the cultural connections. This is the most diverse school in the District of Philadelphia. We have over 60 different cultures, 90 different languages spoken in our community here. And so we're bringing in outside artists from many different cultures and a diverse background and having kids see the musicians as artists who are succeeding in their life outside is just a, a small example of what students can do after they get out of high school. You guys ready to move around a little bit? Trust me, I know you get to sit around all day, so this is your chance to really do something different. Yes, one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. I see, está bien. Three and four and, uh-huh. Two and three and four. I believe that you know, the, the students have uh, a little bit more of a comfort in, um, in excelling through academics. And a lot of it is disembodied. You know, it's sort of like you know, very mental, intellectual uh, engagement with school and, and the learning experience and I think that's the comfort zone for a lot of these students in this class where what I'm asking them to do is then bring that learning into their body and to allow their body to be the, the workspace to explore, to, to learn, to connect. So it's not just an intellectual connection. I'm not just receiving information through my ears, through my eyes, but I'm actually taking that and have to process it in a physical way and I have to do it in a way that's also connected to everybody else. And I think these students are not often invited to be engaging in that kind of way. Beyond public speaking, you know, this, this idea of, of, of physical expression, dance, so to speak, or just this embodied movement is definitely uncomfortable for a lot of these students who are used to the comfort of intellectualizing the information that they have. I'm Dash. I'm from fifth period guitar. I feel like I've never been a drum person. I've always been like a string person. And I felt like it was because I was never able to do rhythm. It's so hard. 
it's different when you actually feel the music instead of just doing it. And I feel like Mr. Alex, he's like teaching us more so how to feel the music and not necessarily just to play it, That's to make I'm noise good. or make music, yes. but to genuinely, yes. I guess, more so have a passion or, you know, an emotion behind the music. What I'm trying to get them to understand is the drums don't generate the music. The body generates the music. The drums are just amplifiers for the music that's inside of their own bodies. These are just loud speakers for the thing that's already inside them. All these rhythms, they have stories. They didn't just fall from the sky. They didn't come from under a rock. They all have a story. They all have a lineage, just like each one of us do too. So it's important that we understand the connections that we are making when we play this music and what it's tied to. What has this music been used for? Why is this music developed, right? And how has this music changed over the years? Thanks, Kareem. It's like, it's a rock to me. It holds me down because everything in life is just so chaotic. And then sometimes I just listen to a certain piece of music that I like or whatever, and it changes all the time what I like. So whatever it is, I just hit play and then kind of just like, boom, calm, clean. I can actually think straight. And then yeah, it's kind of like hitting a reset button. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good morning. Right. Hey, we're doing a residency here. Wow. Yes. Very cool. Mm -hmm. The music residency. Yeah. yeah. One person said they didn't want to be filmed. That person outside of the room said you don't want to be filmed by Mr. Aiden to the far side of Are you going to go eat lunch? Yes. You're going to go eat lunch? Do you want to bring your lunch up here? I don't know. You'll never have another chance to see this in your life. And this is as close I can get to where your family comes from. Mm -hmm. you know? So that's kind of like a piece of your history. I, st I studied in conservatory in university uh, about uh, Western and uh, Eastern uh, music. And, and then I started to PhD on musicology. Uh, I couldn't finish it because of two political problems in my country. In Turkish music, in Eastern music generally, uh, as a te theoretical, theoric, theory, theoric, as a theoretical, yeah, my, my English not perfect, 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 but I, I know you can understand me. Uh, in uh, Eastern music, we cut whole notes to nine piece, nine piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four. başına gel ben gidiyorum Bolu'ya düş peşine gel bombalacık halime çay başına gel I just recognize like the rhythm of the music it goes back to our type of hometown and stuff so we usually play those type of guitars like like it's like soothing uh, guitars you know like the soothing noise it makes like that's how it is back there you know it's oh, yeah. a little Definitely. different Definitely. it's way different from those guitars so <laughs> The sound of it, you know, it takes us back home. That's why we like it. That's why we now with it. Home for me is in Pakistan. 
even though it's still not the same, but you know, the rhythmic stuff, you know, it's pretty much the same. To be honest, nah, not really. I didn't expect this to be here today, you know. It was something new. Absolutely. I liked it. I enjoyed it. What about <laughs> you, bro? The same thing, bro. I actually didn't expect that, too. He's a really good guy, actually, you know, his instruments. I love the music he played. He, awesome guy. <laughs> Mashallah. 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 The instruments were vastly different from what I or what I've seen. Like the neck was long, it had so many frets, the strings were a lot different. And that that was what blew my mind away that there could be such a such a difference between all these guitar instruments, the the, the family of all the guitars. Like that was something that blew my mind and I was so surprised. That's why I needed to ask questions. I felt the need to ask questions about, well, what is this? Because I've never seen it before. My favorite one I would say was the 12th century Arabic love song. I would say that was really nice. It was like peaceful. Like when, before he started playing, I didn't expect it to sound like that. I really genuinely didn't. I didn't know what it was gonna sound like, sound like, but I didn't expect it to sound like that. It sounded like, I'm not even gonna lie, it sounded like a telenovela when she be falling in love and then she's sad because he doesn't love her back or something like that or she's crying. It was like really, it made me feel like, ooh. I don't know, like it was like, <laughs> it was a really nice song. Um, do you remember Jimena, right? After they came, it was amazing. Kind of a gateway through my own home because I was thinking to myself, are there any, is there anything in El Salvador that resembles that, right? It, it made me really curious and it gave me such a drive to look for, for more, you know, from where I come from. Take these, you just put them on the, put them on the floor, on the, on the stage. Yeah, on the, put them off to the side on the stage. Okay. My name is Leima Samar. Uh, I'm an Afghan that I'm in a, studying in Northeast High School in Philadelphia. I'm in 10th grade. My dream is to become a celebrity, to have a millions of fans, followers. Like when I go to streets, like people said, oh my God, she Lema Samar. I wanted to uh, take her autograph or wanted to take her with her selfie. Uh, so it's my dream. My mom bec uh, wants to I become a doctor, but I don't like to become a doctor. I, want to, I don't want to live like a simple person in this world. I wanted to become someone that the whole world should know me. That, who is Lema Summer? It's my dream to become a celebrity. Music brought me here in America. So I want to share how I met my music. At that time, uh, my major was totally different thing. I studied the education. It was not a my dream, my parents' dream. In their thought, Oh, having a good job is really good, especially for women in Korea. And then after I heard the music, immediately I, can, I could feel something. Oh, maybe that was what I wanted. Now, that, is, that way is I have to go. So I found a lot with my parents. And then I, sometimes I wrote to my parents, OK, I promise I will never play the music again. from Brazil, you know, we used to play some um, drums and in samba too, knowing like more new ways of music from other places, you know. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of similar to my country, you know, you, you, we need, you use like some uh, 
some drums too, so I feel like I'm connected something with you, you know? I toured lots of countries and then I met lots of musicians and then friends through the music and then I never regret uh, my decision. What else do you feel like you've learned from being in a music class? There's so many different types. Like, um, I don't listen to English music. Like, I don't listen to any other genre except for the list. Like, I listen to dimbo. It's a form of, like, rap music, Dominican rap music. You know who Little Baby is? It's like that, but, like, in Spanish version. I had such a closed mind when it came to music. Like, I don't want to listen to your music. Like, we could listen to mine, but that's it. And then, like, now, like, yeah, yeah, we could give it a try. Like, you know, my friend Dash, she's really into, like, K-pop and, like, stuff like that. Like, honestly... I don't, I don't like that type of music, but you know, she likes it. So like, I started to like, listen, you know, maybe. So like, this could be a conversation. Like, you know, like, what makes you like this? Even if like, I might not like it, it's just a sense of being respectful. I don't have to like what you like, and you don't have to like what I like. But if we respect one another, it'll be fine. We represent in this room and in all the classes, we represent a lot of diversity of lived experience. Each of you come from a very different kind of um, home, or background, maybe it's similar to somebody in your class, but across the board, this school is also very diverse. So I wanted to be able to create a piece that, um, that reflected some of the perspectives that are in the room. I want to attempt to have, with each class, create a, um, I'll just say a group poem, okay? Now we're not, we're not I don't want, I want you to get out of your mind this idea of poetry being, you know, maybe what, whatever you've had in an in a English class or a literature class or whatever. Really, this is a gathering of, of your own sort of personal connections to home, all right? Where do you feel most comfortable? Where do you feel like you belong or you feel most comfortable? And maybe you don't feel like I you already know my, like, ASAP, huh? instantly. No, like, like, I'm a campo girl, so, like, I'm from, like, a small town from uh, DR. Yeah. And, like, I just love that life so much. Like, it's just so simple, literally, like, so simple. Everything there is just easy. And that's, that's what I like. Like, I feel at home when I'm there. Ah, you. Ah, you. Like, the, this the, 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 this the smell of, the smell of garlic. Yes. The scent of, the scent of garlic. Uh, whatever. I think I'm gonna put Mara, this. Is it, is it alu fresco or is it alu? Alu, na panela com Na panela, okay. That smell really good. It does smell really good. <laughs> so she's talking about the smell of garlic, you know, oh. cooking in a, in a, in a frying pan. Get out of here, that's my idea. Right? So that's that's a great idea. For me, somewhere a place will feel like home, like near my house and near where I live back then, my country. You know what I'm saying? We have to write it. Let's see that. Probably like the different drumming, drumming rhythms from each culture, like the the, the clave rhythm. I still remember that. And some of the songs we taught us, like you know, I don't know. It's not really like a specific thing, but more of the feeling that the world was so much bigger than I could ever know or experience. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think it's really nice to know that you know there's people out there that aren't like me, and that's cool. I know it's new, the curtains are open, the sound is different because the sound is coming back and forth off the wall. People are looking at us, so it's like, oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? But we have, we are at a circle right here. We have our own sacred space right here amongst us. Everybody else is gonna still be able to hear what we do, but this right here, okay, is for us. Anybody who does not want to take a solo, you like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to force you. I don't want to traumatize. Do you want to do one? You're kind of in and out? Gloria, would you like to maybe, maybe we could make this a moment where you could just step forward. Yeah? I'm 
my god. Make you getting me nervous right now. I'm super nervous, guys. Oh my god, oh my god. Ugh, look at my hands, like they're shaking. Oh my god. Let me go sit down. Uh, I'm a little nervous, I I'm gonna be honest. Uh, while we were practicing, I was messing up a little and that kinda, kinda hurt my confidence, but that's why I wanna come up here and practice before we start. That way I can, you know, be ready for the show. I called one of my friends, so she's also coming to see me and what I'm doing, so she's so much... Uh, what do you say I like? When you have something, interest in something, I'm kind of excited for it, you feel me? I get to showcase to these people how hard I've been working, you know, all my skills and whatnot. I have ansiedad, no puedo, no me puedo subir. Tengo miedo. Gloria, 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 it's not going, it's not going. No, we started a chant for you and everything. So the drums will come off and we all just come and stand together? Okay. Damn, you about to pull my braid out. You'll be okay. You can get up. <laughs> She's throwing that to him now. That's <laughs> great. Thank you for uh, listening. Thank you for giving your attention to the people on this stage. This is many of their first time as a performer. Feel free to clap with us, to sing with us. This is not just us playing for you. This is us being a part of a collective here. City in Shanghai, the summer breeze at night when the sun falls. I wanted to tell you a poetry in my own language that says, Agar Suzy Katoma Mroba Gabarge Hog Benevi Sam. Agar Suzy Katoma Mroba Gabarge Hog Benevi Sam. amazing I have the best students in the world there's nothing that can take away what we just did today and I don't know if they know what they did but it was phenomenal ace is very good Yay. they play like three instrument guitar piano clarinet now drums that's four I'm very proud I'm happy they invited me and I hope I get another invite so I can skip more classes that's not what you should be happy about <laughs> no, Three, two, two, three. Relax. What? <laughs> 